Hello, today we're going to take a walk through the Sea Ray 2014 model year 510 Sundancer. Starting at the transom, you'll see we've got a large hydraulic swim platform that will lower into the water for easy launch and retrieval of a tender or a personal watercraft. There's also two large storage lockers on the back. The starboard one has the Glen Denning Cable Master. Uh, which allows you to, with the flip of a switch, coil up your shore power card and also the remote control for the hydraulic lift swim platform. There's also abundant storage for fenders and lines as well as a uh, mat that'll help wash away the water and a shore water hookup. As we walk up into the cockpit, first you'll notice on the port side a large U-shaped sofa with a high gloss teak table snap-in carpet liner, the large stainless sliding doors. On the starboard side, there's also a cockpit electric grill with cover. One of my favorite features of the 510 Sundancer is this electrically operated sunshade for the aft cockpit. With just the flip of a switch, you can cover the whole cockpit in shade. One more switch, brings it right back. As you walk into the salon, on the port side, there's a large sofa with table. This table also flips over to allow easy access in and out of the sofa. On the starboard side, we have a television, a wet bar that also features a drawer refrigerator a pull-out garbage receptacle, bottle storage, and drawer. The double-wide helm seat features flip-up bolsters, and also, by flipping this latch, you can slide it around to give more space in the cockpit. The 510 Sundancer also features Zeus pod drives which allow you to operate the boat with the joystick. Very simple. It also has traditional shifters and throttles, as well as abundant space for electronics. This boat features the Raymarine Hybrid Touch chart plotter radar units, as well as the Zeus SmartCraft system, a remote control spotlight, and the Precision Pilot keypad which operates your skyhook, which allows you to hold the boat in one position by just pressing a button. And it also has an autopilot built right in that is networked with the chart plotters. Additionally, there are analog gauges and a compass. Overhead is a large sunroof that opens with the flip of a switch. There are also sunshades to keep out the hot sun in the summer. The Sea Ray 510 also features Skyflow technology and design, which means that the space from the sunroom down into the lower salon is all open, allowing it all to function as one space. On the starboard side, you have a large L-shaped sofa, an ottoman with storage, In the center, there's a TV and entertainment center with Bose Acoustamass stereo system, as well as a Harman Kardon amplifier. The galley features a microwave oven, full-size refrigerator freezer, very spacious countertop. Below the sink is a pull-out garbage receptacle and Keurig coffee pot. There's also deep cabinet space above all of the countertop. Sea Ray has also gone to a distressed wood floor with very wide six inch plank wood.
On the starboard side, the main distribution panel has controls for shore power or generator power items above and all of the 12 volt controls below as well as audio and satellite TV functions below. The VIP stateroom forward features a full-size bed that you can control thanks to this remote control to put the backrest up so that you would have a nice, comfortable, relaxing way to lounge, read a book, or watch the television on the starboard side. You also have a DVD player and abundant storage on both port and starboard side. There's access from the forward stateroom into the head compartment. The head compartment features a vessel sink, solid surface countertop, real ceramic tile, a full stand-up shower with glass door and teak, set, teak seat. As we go back through the salon, you can see the wood steps going back up into the sunroom all of the natural ambient light in the space will walk on back into the master suite. In the master you'll see we have another vessel sink, mirrored medicine cabinets above, ample storage below, hardwood floors, separate shower with teak seat, inlaid ceramic tile. The master is a full beam with a mirror on the back. You can also see that you can walk all the way around the bed with nightstands on both sides with solid surface. Thermostat for the air conditioner at easy reach. Cedar lined hanging locker. This space here houses the washer dryer combo unit. We'll take a walk back topside to take a look at a few of the features on the exterior of the boat. As we walk up to the bow, you can see it's a nice wide space to walk. Grab handles in just the right spots. Nice tall stainless steel bow rail. Area for a forward deck sun pad, which is included, just not installed on the boat right now. Stainless steel rails with built-in cup holders. Deck hatch into the guest stateroom where we were a minute ago. A large windlass with stainless steel anchor remote control spotlight and foot controls for the for the windlass. As we look back across the windshield you can see the fiberglass sport spoiler on the top that holds the radar, a TV antenna, GPS antenna, and behind that is the the uh, antenna for the satellite TV. Thank you for taking a walkthrough on the Sea Ray 510 with us today. If you have any other questions, visit us at marinemax.com or visit any of our Marine Max locations.